Welcome to Resolve in a Rush, where you'll learn useful DaVinci Resolve tips and tricks in under 5 minutes. DaVinci Resolve's 3D qualifier makes it very easy to work with green screen footage. Here I have a shot of Steve Martin that needs the background knocked out. To get started, I'll click on this eyedropper icon to open the qualifier palette. And then click on this pop-up menu to the right and choose 3D. The 3D qualifier basically allows me to make a very refined selection based on color. I'll use it to draw a squiggly line across the green screen in the viewer, making sure that the line I draw crosses over the wrinkles. If I draw multiple lines, the 3D qualifier will automatically add those colors to the selection range. When I'm finished, I'll click the small icon that looks like a magic wand in the upper left of the viewer. This turns on the highlight mode in the viewer which highlights the non-selected areas of the image in gray. With just a few strokes of the 3D qualifier, the green screen should be thoroughly selected, and Steve should be totally gray. Going back to the qualifier palette, I'll click this button to invert the selection. Now the green screen should be gone, and Steve should be visible. To the right of the viewer is the node editor. Here I can right-click in the background of the node editor and choose Add Alpha Output. A small square with a blue tag will appear to the right of the node editor. That is the alpha output, and it adds transparency or an alpha channel to the image. Now I can click on the small triangle to the right side of the node thumbnail and drag it to the blue tagged square. A thin dotted line appears. This line indicates that the gray or highlighted part of our image will now be sent to the transparent alpha channel. Let's review what I just did. I used the 3D qualifier to select the green screen, then inverted that selection to select every part of the image except the green screen. Then I attached the deselected green screen to a transparent alpha channel. Right now you may be wondering what all of this accomplished, so I'll turn off the highlight mode in the viewer. Instantly, Steve is transported to the tropics. As you can see, it's easy to get an acceptable key, even with a less than ideal backdrop. By refining the key a bit and adjusting the brightness and color balance, I can really sell this shot. For more great DaVinci Resolve tutorials, check out RippleTraining.com, the number one resource for Blackmagic Design certification training for DaVinci Resolve 14.